Hi there, just a lot of purple here. And this has got to be my rant. You know, I, I hear things on the news. I'm not a, I don't read the newspaper every day because I just get fired up. But when I do read it, I'm fired up and I'm mad. People should have a right to live in RVs if they want to, in campers if they want to, and if they doggone want to live in a tent, they should have a right to do it on their own land or travel around the United States or wherever they choose to go and live in an RV if they so desire, live in a camper hooked up to a truck or a car or whatever if that's what they want to do. They don't want you doing that. You know why? They're not getting light money out of you. They're not getting gas money out of you. They're not getting whatever sewage money out of you. They're not getting this out of you. They're not getting this stuff out of you. And on top of that, they can't keep up with you when you're moving from one location to another. You want to buy some land. You want to build a little something on it. Mate, but you want to live in a tent until you can get it built. Or you want to live in an RV until you can get it built. Or you want to live in a camper until you get it built. You should have that right to do that. Maybe you don't want nothing real big. Maybe you just want that camper on the land and then you want to build something kind of around it to live in there. You should have that right. We should have a right to live in RVs year-round if we want to. We should have that right to live in campers if we want to. We should have a right to live in a tent if we so desire to live in that tent year-round if we want to. If we don't want to take a bath for a doggone year and live in that tent, live out there with nature in a tent and squat on the land, on your own land, in a tent, if that's what you want to do, you should have that right to do it. You're not hurting anybody. You're living off the grid, basically. You're living somewhere away from everybody. You're not bothering nobody. If you want to pull a school bus onto your property and live in it, you should have that right to do it. If so desired, that's what you want to do. But we can't. These two people could. Never thought about somebody having a school bus in the middle of nowhere. Be on somebody's property. Somebody was living in a school bus. They didn't think nothing about it. They do now. You can't do it. Used to, there'd be RVs on somebody's property. People was living in the RVs. They travel around the United States living in the RVs year-round. They're telling you you can't do it. You can't stay. You can't do it. People move from one spot to another. You're not allowed to live in a camper full-time. There's people who live in vans full-time. They have custom-designed their vans for them to live in it, to go from one spot to another if they so desire. People should have that right to live in RVs, to live in campers, on their own property, to have a tent on it if they so desire and they are comfortable in living in that situation as long as they are not hurting anybody doing it. We all should have a right to be able to do that. Should be able to be able to buy a RV and park it on your own property and live in it if that's what you want to do. As long as you're not hurting nobody, as long as you're not bothering nobody, you should have that right. If you want to hook a camper up to your vehicle and you want to travel from one spot to another, live a nomadic lifestyle, then you should have that right to do it. Bottom line. But the problem is, they can't keep up with you. You have to have an address, basically. You got to have tags so they can keep up with you. Basically, you're not allowed to live in an RV year round unless you, you know what? But what about these people that join these RV clubs and they travel from one spot to another? How do they keep up with them? They're living year round in it, basically. A lot of them don't even have a home. I mean, that, that RV is their home. I have known people who would sell their house off, sell off everything they had, got them an RV, and just traveled around the United States visiting people, going places, staying there for a couple of weeks, and then travel again. But we don't want that to happen. What the, it just can't be done anymore. Don't care if you own all that land of yours. Don't care if it's five acres or an acre or whatever. You're not allowed to live on that property.
just sorry. You gotta have a running water. You gotta have lights. You gotta have a sewage system set up so you could not live in that type of environment. I'm terribly sorry for you. But that's just how it is. You have solar panels set up. So you have solar energy. You're using propane, whatever to heat with. You have your own system to collect water. You fill up on water or whatever it is you do. You catch rainwater, which is illegal in many states. We had to get permits. You turn around. You wash your clothes by hand if that's what you want to do. But you still should have that right. You should have the right to live in RVs if you're around, if you want to, campers you're around. And if you want to have a doggone tent on your own property, you should have that right. But they say you're not allowed to do that. So many people are trying to find places to live so they can live in peace. But as things change, restrictions change, their money changes, we should have that right. We should. We used to. It was never nothing thought of it, of living in an RV full time, traveling around the United States if so desired, have a camper, live in a van if that's what you wanted to do, live on your own property with a tent. Travel would hike across the Appalachian Mountains that would take you a year to do. They don't think it say anything about that, but at the same time, you still got to follow the rules. So if you own 100 acres and you're in the middle of that 100 acres and you're not around to bother anybody, what are you hurting? As long as you're not hurting anyone, living your lifestyle, you should be able to. But they say, you're not allowed to do that. So, I guess we're not going to get to enjoy some of that stuff. So, there's a lot of prepper here saying, we ought to be able to do it. We have that right. It's supposed to be the land of the free. The American of the brave. But yet, for some reason or another, we're not allowed to live in RVs full time or have a camper in the back. That's a crying shame. Hmm. And if I own 100 acres or 50 acres and I want to put a tent in the middle of it and live there while I build me a home, I should be able to. This is a live prepper here saying, I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all.